Right back to you, right, right back. Where you from? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that is what I mean.
Yeah. Today is the day of St. Malo, as you are aware. And uh, this is paying homage to our Maroon King, St. Malo. As the elders say, those who cannot remember the dead can never honor the living ancestors. So it's very important. As a people, we believe that our gone ancestors are still with us. The energies watch us over us. They are aware of our activities here. And uh, before we catch up with them, when it had to be done, that's what we are doing. And uh, exactly in honor of T.S. and Malo, who years ago yes, was really crucified here. He said Malo was a maroon. He was an escaped slave that, that existed in the mid 1700s. Uh, he was not he a escaped slave, he was a free man. He was a free man. He stole himself. That's right. He stole himself like all Maroons. They steal themselves yep. and become free men. Free men. And he established a Maroon camp in the east near Lake Bourne that existed for about four or five years before they were able to capture him and capture about a hundred of those escaped slaves. And he was hung, lynched here in Jackson Square in front of St. Louis Cathedral. And we're here on this day that we honor Juneteenth to recognize Samala, also known as Juan Samala. And yeah, I want to introduce this dear woman. She may be, her skin may be white, but she's more conscious in the spirit. She initiated this. My friend was asking me, is it a white people thing? I said, it's not about black or white. Their ancestors were it's a, taken. It's a freedom thing. Thank you. <laughs> Their ancestors were taken from the street of France down here. Right. The same Louisiana here. Incredible. As slaves. 